I'm James Dale Franklin. I was born in <clears throat> November the 21st, 1950, at Milligan Clinic in Jefferson City, Tennessee. Mr. Dale Franklin was the youngest of three children born to G.W. and Harriet Bledsoe Franklin. Part of the farm dates back to the 1880s. His older sister died at just a few days old from pneumonia, but young Dale remembers well growing up with his brother and tending farm chores. They had dairy, tobacco, and beef cattle and hogs and tobacco. General farm. They milked for 30, mom and dad milked for 39 years. Got out of the dairy business in 1985 on the dairy buyout program. I-40 split their farm in two. And the state provided a cow tunnel for their dairy herd to go under the interstate, which we found out in the early 90s that that was part of the settlement for his part of the damage from the interstate. He attended elementary school in Dandridge and was the star green hand and active all four years in the FFA at Maury High School where he graduated in 1968. After a couple of years in college, he was drafted into the Army and spent nearly a year in missile repair school at Redstone Arsenal in Huntsville. He then finished out his service with the National Guard, but it was back in high school when he first noticed a young girl, Yvette Underwood, that would eventually become the love of his life. I was a senior, she was a freshman, she was a cute little thing, and I asked her out, and we dated a few times. I graduated, and we drew, <clears throat> kinda grew apart, and then when I came home on weekends from Redstone Arsenal, got in touch with her, and everything developed from there. Dale and Yvette were married on December 30th, 1970. They had two sons and now have five grandchildren. After his service, they moved back to the farm where they continued to dairy, raise tobacco, hogs, and beef cattle. He later worked four years at the Jefferson Farmers Co-op and also was a contractor building houses. He's been active with the local, state, and national livestock associations for cattle and hogs, two terms on the local co-op board, the Soil Conservation District, and the FSA County Committee. And his service to Farm Bureau began with the young farmers and homemakers and went on to serve on the local board for 25 years and several as vice president and then president. Meeting the people, other farmers, other people throughout the nation and especially throughout the state. Went to all conventions as long as I was on the board and could. And we did go to the American Farm Bureau convention when it was in Nashville a few years ago. Been to many legislative sessions and you're sitting there and somebody brings up an issue that totally foreign to you, but you sit there and listen to the discussion and it makes sense and you can either oppose it or go along with it, which is how the whole system works. Very grassroots, very grassroots. The Franklins attend Piedmont Baptist Church and continue to support their mission of service to the community and the youth. And because of his lifelong dedication to advancing agriculture and rural life, Mr. Dale Franklin receives Farm Bureau's Distinguished Service Award. I was out here bailing hay and Jim stopped by one day and said, we need to meet. And I said, okay. And I was feeding one morning and he and Kristen came by and told me the news. And that's how I found out. About got emotional on it. But that's part of it, I guess. Means everything. Uh, as I told a wife the other day, there's people that love you that you don't even know about. And I guess that pretty well sums it up. Next to the wife, I guess Farm Bureau people are my favorite. Dale, for all the work you've done over all these years, we don't have enough money to pay you but we want to recognize you and thank you for all you have done and don't think you're going to get to quit just because we're going to give you this award. Thank you for all you've done. Thank you, David. Um, I'd like to thank everybody that had anything to do with this. I certainly feel like I didn't deserve it, but uh, especially thank my family and it's quite an honor. Thank you.